Hey everyone, welcome to Arrow Sentinel channel. Uh, in this episode, we're going to uh, talk about the uh, moderators, silencers, uh, LDCs, whatever you folks wish to call them. It's all the same in my book. Um, what we're going to do is do a sound level meter test. Um, I've never uh, done this before as far as uh, uh, an actual sound level meter um, so it'd be surprising to see which one of these would be quieter um, but here we have the Donny FL Ronin that's a significant size and then we have the Ramos with flip compensator as well as the standard um, end cap cover now you can see that it's significantly smaller in size um, but as far as sound the lower Hertz it this I could see this win winning the sound level test but I don't think not by much um, because to me the only difference between um, this and the Ramos with the end cap the end cap is uh, the standard end cap uh, is much quieter of course but uh, the sound difference seems to be a higher pitch on this one but seems to be just as quiet as the Ronin whereas this one is lower Hertz but um, that can fool you when it comes to sound level because lower Hertz tend to sound seem to sound softer um, but again we shall see as far as what this uh, uh, DB meter goes uh, what we'll do is we'll go we're going to do the standard uh, muzzle brake on the rifle that came with the rifle at the end and Then we're gonna do the um, Ramos with flip compensator Then I'm going to remove the flip compensator and replace it with a standard um, End cap which makes it quieter and then we're gonna do the Ronan so I'm gonna do two shots of each. Um, right now, talking, um, I'm averaging about 64, 67 dB, just talking. Um, so uh, here we go. Um, we're gonna do two shots of each. First, the standard uh, muzzle brake that comes with the rifle. Um, it's gonna be a little bit louder, but here we go, two shots. Uh, hopefully the phone um, is going to capture it, uh, but it, it may not do as well of a job as we expect it to because the phone tends to um, do f uh, volume compensation, making uh, sound, enhancing sound that are softer and um, toning down the sound that are louder. So it kind of equalizes the sound automatically. So. But we'll see. Uh, we'll do uh, two shots now with the stun standard uh, muzzle brake. Um, here we go. It's going to be a bit loud, so kind of pay attention to the, um, the dB meter. So two shots here. And my wife is blocking my scope view. Okay, so two shots right now. Here we go, first shot. I don't know what that registered, but here we go. One more shot. So about 115 dB. All right. Now I'm going to replace the um, standard muzzle brake. So just remember the standard muzzle brake that came with the rifle is approximately 115 uh, DB now this is gonna be uh, quieter maybe but not by much because it's a flip compensator it's basically an open baffle so to speak it's almost like a muzzle brake but here we go two more shots so definitely quieter when it comes to sound it takes it down quite a good notch but 
um, dB meter. Let's see one more time. So 115 dB. But the sound signature have been in a different. Um, so it seems just as loud with the with the Ramos flip compensator on. It according to the dB meter, it did 115 dB as well. And now we're gonna put the uh, standard end cap, which is gonna take it down a notch. But in in our ears, the dB meter reads it as just as loud. But in our ears, it's actually quieter because it takes it takes that high pitched sort of tone and brings it to a different lower hertz uh, region. So it seems as if it's quieter. But according to the dB meter, it's, it's uh, softer. I mean, uh, just as loud. But in our ears, it seems as just as quiet. But here we go. Um, this is definitely going to be quieter. And here we go with the Ramos, uh, with the standard end cap, which is going to definitely be quieter. So 108. Here's the second shot, 108, alright, now we're gonna do the, so it doesn't seem as, according to the dB meter, which is right in front of the muzzle, it's surprising that it reads it in that in the even in the 100 db region but of course i'm only maybe a foot away from the and then from the uh muzzle the end of my barrel so here we go here's the ronin but to the ears is definitely quieter um But the sound pressure level uh, meter seemed to read it a little higher. But here we go. The Ronin, first shot. 106. Second shot. 108. So, it's just as loud. So, like I said, it is surprising, and my theory was correct before before going with the Ronin setup. It's significantly heavier too because of size and probably the additional um, material that's on the Ronin. But it's, it's surprising that it's just as quiet. Now, it seems like this one is quieter, but you, you notice on the dB meter, they both read 108. They're registering 108. This seems to sound uh, just as quiet, but they have a different tonal, signi uh, tonal signature. Um, to my ears, it was this that was slightly higher pitch and this slightly lower pitch. So, again, uh, it seems like this may be quieter when it's really not. They're just saying. Uh, which I noticed, uh, you know, just by hearing, but this proves it with the dB uh, meter reading. So, uh, hopefully that gave you folks some uh, information with regards to the different level. And I chose this to go with the uh, high power Magnum, the HP uh, Magnum Brokaw Commander, because this is lighter. And the extra length bar barrel, I noticed that with this heavier, this tends to drop it a good uh, mil. And this drops it a good uh, half a mil, you know. So, you know, without and with. So this tends to be closer to POI, uh, POA, um, point of aim. 
when because it's lighter so it doesn't give you that um, so it because the Ramos is um, lighter of course it doesn't give you um, the barrel sag um, as much as the Ronin does because this is definitely significantly heavier um, you can feel it but height wise look at that same height which is amazing imagine what this will do when it's slightly or just as big as the Ronan it definitely will be quieter for sure but considering that the size is almost half I mean I'm surprised that this actually is so efficient um, and that's why I chose it and you know because uh, you have the option of a flip compensator which does which does help it reduces the flip when especially it's a high power so um, it does help with uh, accuracy or the flip so again um, hopefully um, that gave you folks curiosity some some conclusive uh, answers to you to your questions and curiosities and um, see you folks on the next one laters aloha